Hello everyone. Now, I cut apart all my little tags and, and stuff from the paper pack that I had opened um, on the live the other day. And I've cut them apart and what I'm doing is enhancing them. Let me take this bracelet off, it makes the racket. Um, but I have told y'all before, I, I think I have, I'm pretty sure I did, how I take just scotch tape or any type of clear tape that's slick, has a, black, a back slick part, and I put it on a piece of paper. And then I use vegetable glycerin, which I have one container that's all that's in it is vegetable glycerin. And in that container, you want it to where it seals real good so it won't evap evaporate. And it's real greasy. <laughs> so be careful with it. But what you can do, or what I do, um, is I decide what I want to enhance in these. Because see how dull this is? I mean, it's, it's pretty. It's very beautiful. But it's... It's dull. It's just printed paper. That's what that is, printed paper. And you can enhance it by using gel pens. And what I do is I won't mess with the December. It's just too little. But what I will do with the 25 is I'll, if I can get it the right. I have it written with this one, dear. Here we go. We've been having storms, so I, I wanted to do a different video today, but it's not gonna happen. There we go. All you do is you write on the tape with a gel pen, you take this and you barely stick it. I you, What I do is I stick it on the lid because there's always a few drops of glycerin on there and then I take a napkin and do it this way. So it's not a ton of the glycerin. And what I can do is make it there. Like it. There we go. And that vegetable glycerin is also a cleaner. That's what I use to clean with. So I just stick it. Hold on. Precious, you decide you wanted to go out. Okay. My little service companion was in here, but when I start doing videos, sometimes she wants back out. She, she wants attention on her. <laughs> okay. Now what we can, what I can do and show you is I want to brighten up that green in there. So I'm just going to go in with the gel pen. And you don't have to be careful with this. You can just do it this way. and get this done and I'll stick it back. I'll put my lid right there and you can see me do that. And then I can actually smear this and it you can do it that way too. And I was just testing out to see what I could do. But that blends that gel pen and makes it smooth then instead of lines because you can see the lines. Let me move this one out of the way because it is done. And I'll proceed to get this one completed. And if, if you or your children want to just do it with your gel pens and not fool with glycerin, that's fine, you can do that. But I just find that it blends that gel pen to where 
you don't see the lines. It just makes it real smooth and pretty. And that's just something that I come up with on my own on that. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just brings the card alive when you do it that way. Sometimes your pen will get a little loose. If you tighten it up, it will do better. All right. Always put the lid back on your gel pen. They will dry out on you quick. And you would think that this wouldn't do anything, but you would be surprised how smooth you can make that. I can see the difference. I don't know if you can, but you don't have all those lines in there. It actually blend it out. But you can, you can actually just get you a little, um, you could use a piece of cardboard or anything, put you some tape on it and sit in front of the TV and do these. And uh, it doesn't take much to clean that off. Now we can work on the birds, and I've already got some gel pen right here. And when I want it soft, now it looks real bright when you first do it, but once it dries, it looks different then. So keep that in mind. There we go. And to do... I'm looking for my white pen. What happened to it? Here it is. I wouldn't want to change the color of the bird, so I will do a white gel pen in here. And it's so small, you won't be able to see messy lines. The bigger ones, I would smooth it out. The little ones, not so much. Do that right quick. And what I do is I dedicate one brush for this. Always keep that brush away from the others. It's not gonna hurt anything. Like I said, glycerin is actually great for blending acrylic paints and a little bit into your water, it, it really does help. I don't know if any of you have tried that, but it works real good. And this is subtle. Once it dries, it's real subtle. So you're not changing it. You're just enhancing. There we go. And that, those birds, you won't be able to see it because I've tried taking pictures of them before when I've done it. And you just can't see that uh, glitter because these are the glitter gel pens. And this is snow, so anywhere where it's snow, I do it. It's the same color, so I'm just going to do like that to blend it. more glycerin, not much. You don't have to be real careful with this. And that looks pretty good, so it doesn't look like it's got a bunch of lines in it, so I'm not going to change that any. But it's just little tricks that I have learned through the many years of crafting. Glycerin won't hurt you. It's it's made from vegetables. I get mine through Amazon, and it's all natural. So there's no chemicals, no nothing. It's very safe for everyone. Now, 
I, I still want the birds to look a little bit better, so I'm going to go in with the... Uh, I wish I had that color of blue. I don't. So I'm wondering... I'm wondering what color... You know, that's not the right color. You know what? I wonder if the yellow wouldn't be better. Ooh, I can't find the right color that I want. Don't go it. Hmm. Don't want green. <sighs> Gooey. This isn't bad right here. It's not going to change it too much. And it's still got that glycerin on it, so it's kind of automatically blending, but I wouldn't suggest you doing that. And sometimes if it's wet enough, you can take your finger and I'll, I'll let me go ahead and get finished first. You can take your finger and blend it a little bit if the paper will work with you. Sometimes it won't. Oh, I like that better. I see it kind of brought him up to, up to life. It gave him a little bit of not so darkness to where he's just flat. They're printed. These are laser printed out. So, you know, they're beautiful, but it just kind of enhances them. And I don't know, people may think they come this way when you give them to them, but that's all right. You know what you've done. And I do my own paintings this way too. I'll go back and redo them some. It's amazing, just touching it, it blends it so well. And I'm not gonna do the inside of him because that's supposed to be kind of dark. Now you can go in here and, if you want, and outline his feathers a little bit. I mean, it's up to you how much detail you want in it, but it just kind of livens them up. But I really love gel pens for that very reason. Now what I'm gonna work on is these combs, the pine combs. And I have a pretty brown right here I think would work great. I didn't think about trying it. I'll leave the post like it is and I'll stick that in there. There we go. And it's, I think that one's pretty much done. But there's, you know, it's not a huge difference, but it is a difference and I think it can enhance your, your paintings um, and also I was trying to, oh, here's one. I done this earlier this morning and uh, went over Christmas greetings. See, this one has not been touched. That's the only thing that's been touched on here. And I'll go in and redo and do some of the snow. And you can add other elements to these too. Let me show you. You can use this tulip glitter, which is a spray, but I don't use it spray because it comes out in clunks. And this is also good for material. You can put it on material. But I also got this from Ranger. It's glossy accent. And you can put that on something that you want to look uh, kind of like a mirror. So like this one's got all this snow. I might use some of this for it because there's so much of it. And the same thing goes for here. Um, well, I usually wait to last to do this, but since I'm on here, I just put a drop or two on here. And like I said, I better get a different brush. This is a good brush for this.
and this will dry clear it but it'll have a, a sheen to it and I think that makes it nice I think it uh, you know bring I don't want to do any more to it but you can go in I take a smaller brush and go in and do the windows to this church to make them look like real windows and it just it just brings it to life you know makes it a little bit prettier um, I'll stick my paper towel in this glycerin and this will help get that off your brush I'm telling you glycerin is a lifesaver there's so much you can do with it but that brush is that stuff's out of there now and it conditions your brush too so it's a win-win situation on it but now this looks like snow and it's just really pretty so you know you can use gel pens you can use this you can use uh, glitter glue um, I think I've told y'all that I quit buying glitter because of the it hurts our environment and there's so much in the ocean right now and I just can't see promoting glitter um, I just don't want to and I'm not going to um, if you want to that's up to you I don't have any you know that's that's completely up to you but I just seem to use these gel pens that's got glitter in it it's liquid it's not going anywhere it doesn't hurt the environment and you put it on it works great and then glossy accents from Rangers it's perfect so you know just a little tip we'll call these the tips <laughs> just a little bit of information to help you out that brush is clean as it can be and it's conditioned so and it's old it's just an old brush that I've used many many times um, for that purpose thought you would enjoy seeing this paper pack from Echo Park it is 12 by 12 and the paper is beautiful it's Christmas Wonderland and it's all of this is made in America um, this paper is high quality and I love the colors. The cut aparts are just extraordinary in this, this set. But uh, lots of ideas for tags and cards. God bless you. Stay safe. I hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Keep crafting, everyone. Bye for now.